Good afternoon, boys and girls. I'm Tanya Arneson, Senior Pastor of Jackson First United Methodist Church, and this is Children's Story, story Time for Thursday, July the 9th. You know, boys and girls, sometimes during the month of December, most likely, we hear words from a prophet called Isaiah, who talks about the coming of Jesus, who will save God's people from their sins. We want to hear today about Isaiah, and I'm reading from the Jesus Storybook Bible, and today's story is called Operation No More Tears, and this is for the from the book of Isaiah. Do you know what your name means? My name means beloved. Well, there was once a man called Isaiah, and his name meant God to the rescue. And there's Isaiah right there. That might sound like a bit of a funny name to you, but it was just the right name for Isaiah because God had a special job for Isaiah. You see, Isaiah's job was to listen to God and then tell people what he heard. Now, God let Isaiah know a secret. God was going to mend his broken world. He showed Isaiah his secret rescue plan. Operation No More Tears. Then, this is the message God gave Isaiah. It was like a letter God wrote to the people, and then Isaiah shared the letter with the people. You see, there's Isaiah listening to God. And here's the letter that God sent to the people. Dear little flock, do you see the shepherd in his flock? Dear little flock, you're all wandering away from me like sheep in an open field. You have always been running away from me, and now you're lost. You can't find your way back. But I can't stop loving you. I will come to find you. So I am sending you a shepherd to look after you and love you, to carry you home to me. You've been stumbling around like people in a dark room. You see here with the candle? Stumbling around in a dark room. But into the darkness, a bright light will shine. It will chase away all the shadows like sunshine. A little baby will be born, a royal son. His mommy will be a young girl who doesn't have a husband. His name will be Emmanuel, which means God has come to live with us. He is one of King David's children's children's children, the Prince of Peace. Yes, someone is going to come and rescue you, but he won't be like anyone expects. See, they're expecting a king in a palace with a crown, but that's not who Jesus was like. Let's see what else Isaiah says. He will be king, but he won't live in a palace. And he won't have lots of money. He will be poor. And he will be a servant. But this king will heal the whole world. He will be a hero. He will fight for his people and rescue them from their enemies. But he won't have big armies, and he won't fight with swords. He will make the blind see. He will make the lame leap like a deer. He will make everything the way it was always meant to be. 
but people will hate him and they won't listen to him. He will be like a lamb. He will suffer and die. It's the secret rescue plan we made from before the beginning of the world, God said. It's the only way to get you back. But he won't stay dead. I will make him alive again. And one day when he comes back to rule from ever, forever, the mountains and trees will dance and sing for you. The earth will shout out loud. His fame will fill the whole earth as the waters cover the sea. Everything sad will come untrue. Even death is going to die, and he will wipe away every tear from every eye. Yes, the rescuer will come. Look for him. Watch for him. Wait for him. He will come. I promise. Wow, what a letter from God, huh? <sighs> Poor Isaiah. He read God's letter over and over to God's people, but no one listened to him at all, ever. They didn't want to hear God's promise. They didn't believe it. Did it sound maybe too good to be true? A story that ends happily ever after? Well, it does sound like a fairy tale, doesn't it? And as anyone will quickly tell you, fairy tales aren't true. Or are they? And there's the love letter from God. Love God, it says. my brothers and sisters, my boys and girls, God's love letter to us is not make-believe. It's not a fairy tale. It happened. God did send his son to save us, to love us, and to help make us whole and to heal the whole world. It's true. It's not done yet. It's still happening. But I hope that you and I will believe it and will love God, love Jesus, and do what we can to help Jesus make this whole world whole again. Love one another. Love your family and friends. Forgive the people who hurt you. Try to do your best to do the right thing all the time in every circumstance. And know that God can use you to help heal the world, too. I hope to see you next week. In the meantime, be blessed and be well and know you are beloved by God. Amen. <laughs>